So Stability AI just announced stable video diffusion that is directly competing with the Runway ML and Pika apps that are already the leading AI video generators right now. But most of the people still don't have access to this AI tool. But in this video, I'm going to show you two ways to access this tool. And we're also going to find out, is it really deserve this hype? Let's find out. So first of all, let's take a look on the Stability AI article introducing Stable Video Diffusion. Today we are releasing Stable Video Diffusion, our first foundation model for the generative video based on the image model, Stable Diffusion. So these are the few videos that they have shared. So if we look at these videos, these are pretty consistent videos and uh, I'm actually gonna say it looks really, really good. So this is an open source model, just like the Stable Diffusion. You can just install this model on your local computer. So here you can also see a GitHub repository link. And if we scroll down, this is some kind of comparison between the Runway ML and Pika Labs, uh, where it shows that the Stability AI video model is uh, better than the Runway ML and Pika Labs in some cases. But we're gonna test this out. So the first way to access this AI tool is using the Hugging Face. So this is the Hugging Face space. I will leave the link in the description below. Here we have the option to upload the images. So I'm gonna upload any image and hit generate. As you can see, the application is too busy. Keep on trying. So you can see we are on the 20th number and it says that we have to wait for the 133 seconds, but these seconds will increase by the time. And believe me, it can even go up to 1500 seconds. So we don't want to wait for such a long time. So we're gonna use its alternative that is a web interface. So here is the web interface. So you can use this tool on the decoherence slash stable diffusion. I will leave the link in the description below. So right now this is totally free to use. So here we have two models, text to video and image to video. So first of all, let's try the text to video. So I'm gonna use my classic prompt, a 22 years old woman walking on a street, cinematic and realistic. So, and then we have the option to control the motion. So let's say I'm gonna use about these values and let's hit generate. So here you can see we are in the queue right now, but this is much, much faster than the hugging face actually. And see you after the results. Okay, the video is ready and it barely took around the 30 seconds to generate the video. So if we look at the video, the video looks smooth, but the main character is just messed up and there are a lot of things that need to be improved because this is not a pleasant video even the video looks smooth now let's try the image to video option uh, that i think will be the better one so i'm gonna upload any image and uh, i will keep the motion values default and hit generate so this is the output video and i would say this is much much better than the text to video model we have a very good camera motion in it not too much movement on the main subject but the camera motion the camera angles looks really really good even this was a difficult image but still it performed really really good now let's try something else so this time i'm gonna try this image well this is a really good image and we have the water kind of reflections in it. So let's see how does it perform with this one. So these are the output results. And you can see the sky is kind of stretching in this video. A very, very slow movement that is almost unnoticeable. So it performed really, really bad with this one. And uh, let's try the last image. Okay, so let's try this last image of a car. And then we're gonna see, is it really good at the moving objects? So this is the output video. We have that zoom in effect in this video, but the car is not actually moving. It tried to capture that cinematic kind of motion in the video but i think it performs really really good with the human faces when it comes to human faces and even with the anime characters but if we talk about the skies and the moving object it still needs a lot of improvement in that case because runway ml and pika labs are really good in the AI video generation we have the camera controls and all that stuff but this is uh, another free option you can try it out i will leave the links in the description below you can just go ahead and play around with different things so that's it from this video I hope you guys find this video helpful and if you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.